this is the uh, transfer section of the disc so this is the ectoderm layer okay this is the mesoderm layer in between and this is the endodermal cuboidal cells the ectoderm chale hain abhi this is the uh, ectoderm long cuboidal cells hain uh, this is the portion of the neural groove and here is the notochord position of the notochord is you know the notochord forms the axis of the skeleton ठीक है विल फॉर्म द एक्सिस अराउंड व्हिच द वर्टिब्रल बॉडीज विल फॉर्म आ दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द पेराविजल मीजोडर्म दिस इज द इंटरमीडिएट मीजोडर्म एंड दिस इज द लेटर प्लेट मीजोडर्म ऑन द बोथ साइड्स सो दिस इज द रीजन फ्रॉम वेयर द किडनी सिस्टम्स विल फॉर्म सो दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द इंटरमीडिएट मीजोडर्म ऑन द बोथ साइड्स अप टू द हायर लेवल दिस इज द बिकॉज This is the cut section of the embryonic disc. Uh, disc. So the uh, intermediate mesoderm is lying at the cervical region, at the thoracic region, as well as at the lumbar region and the pelvic region. So this is the area, and this whole area where the kidney system will form. Uh, this is the another view of this. Abhi ek liye slide. Um, next slide pe aage. ठीक है सो हेयर इज दिट म्यूजो शोन हेयर सो दिस इज दिन द सर्वाइकल रीजन दिस इज द प्रोनेफ्रोस एंड देन दिस इज द म्यूजो नेफ्रोस एरिया एंड हेयर द मेटा नेफ्रोज विल फॉर्म सो इन दिस यू कैन सी द सर्वाइकल रीजन पे द प्रोनेफ्रोज फॉर्मेशन हो रही है दिस इज द नॉन फंक्शनल किडनी सिस्टम विच इज फॉर्म इन द फोर्थ वीक and then it will disappear in the end of the fourth week and here is the this is the mesonephric system which is formed by the segmented entry uh, the unsegmented intermediate mesoderm and here is the area which is formed by the pelvic kidney uh, this is the metanephros which will develop into the permanent kidney ठीक है सो प्रोनेफ्रोस मिजोनेफ्रोस एंड द मेटानेफ्रोस एंड दिस इज द डक्ट ऑफ द मिजोनेफ्रोस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द मिजोनेफ्रिक डक्ट एंड डिस्टली इट विल ओपन इनटू द क्लोएका एंड एज यू नो द क्लोएका क्लोएका इज अ कॉमन एंडोडर्मल चेंबर लाइंग इन द डिस्टल पार्ट ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो एंड हियर इट विल डिवाइड टू फॉर्म द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर and the rectum so if uh, you have gone through the urology uh, the gastrointestinal tract so there was the role of the cloaca the cloaca will take okay, so pronephros mesonephros and the metanephros and here is the mesonephric duct which is going down into the cloaca so now we will come on the next slide uh, we will wait for the few seconds to slide up here so now the pronephros is the rudimentary system and the forms at the beginning of the fourth week and then uh, the it is comprising of the 7 to 10 solid cell groups in the cervical region and disappears by the end of the fourth week so the rudimentary system is formed in the cervical region mein banta hai and then it will disappear later on so this is the by the genetic makeup it will form and it will disappear so now we are moving to the diagram of the pronephros system so this is the next slide okay so here is the uh, okay so this is the uh, cut section of the embryo right in the cervical region uh, this is the neural tube and here is this is the ectoderm covering the back and the lateral side of the embryo and so here is the uh, this is the cut section of the body of the embryo jahan tak hoti hai at this level so this is the body of the embryo and the cut section uh, this is the portion of this uh, neural tube uh, this is the back of the embryo that is the uh, ectoderm covered and this is the front view uh, this is the portion of the yolk sac from which the intestine will develop okay this is the paraxial mesoderm here on the both sides and this is the part of the intermediate mesoderm on the both sides 
so from here the kidney system will form and if it is in the neck region then this intermediate mesoderm will form the pyronephros in the thoracic region and the lumbar region the same intermediate mesoderm will form the mesonephros and in the lower down it will form the metanephros okay and so here you can see the initial in the fourth week when the nephrotome banate hain in the cervical region and temporarily they are connected with the external glomerulus and the internal glomerulus and the nephric tubule and then they will rudimentary from they will disappear by the end of the fourth week the urogenital ridge is formed in the mesonephros and then by the end of the second month most of this system will also disappear so here is the intermediate uh, mesoderm is so this is the another slide from the cervical region up to the bottom of the embryo so here is the pyronephros is formed this is the mesonephros part and this is the metanephros the pyronephros will form in the fourth week and this is degenerating so the vestigial will remain and they will degenerate and this is the unsegmented intermediate mesoderm so this is this is the segmented ye dekh yahan se segmented hai in the pronephros but in the uh, mesonephros this is pros which will form the permanent kidney uh, so this mesonephric system will also disappear uh, this is the mesonephric duct which is lying here at the side so this is the duct of the mesonephros and this is the area of the permanent kidney which is formed the from metanephros so ye jo jahan pe this is the cloaca this is the area of the mesonephric duct the mesonephric duct is going into the cloaca so from this mesonephric duct the ureteric bud will arise so this ureteric bud is a part of the urinary permanent system so this is the area of the mesonephros theek hai jo humne pehle yahan pe ye mesonephros hai yahan pe this is the present in the lumbar region and downward uh, this is the area of the intestine and this is the vital end duct and this is the lower intestine and here is the cloaca theek hai ye mesonephros jo hai this will form the temporary kidney and then it will disappear and in this slide you can uh, see the transfer section of this mesonephros this whole area is called the urogenital section because in the medial part of this urogenital uh, ridge is the gonad is also present so this is the gon developing gonad and initially it is known as the indifferent gonad because there is no uh, differentiation of the testis and the this gonad will convert into the testis or the ovary and this is the cut section of the mesonephros ye jo yahan pe mesonephros hai is tarah so this mesonephros is shown here and this mesonephros has for will form the s shaped tubule s shaped tubule on the medially this s shaped tubule will acquire the cup like structure and the blood vessels will grow here to form the glomerulus and laterally this s shaped tubule will go into the mesonephric duct ye jo yahan pe mesonephric duct hai this is lying at the lateral edge of this mesonephros so the mesonephric duct is lying here uh, just nearer to the mesonephric duct there is another duct that is the paramesonephric duct which is shown here in the red so this is the paramesonephric duct so temporarily this will function but later on the most of the mesonephric system will also disappear and then uh, the permanent kidney will form from the metanephros so regarding the metanephros the it will the definitive kidney system which is formed in the pelvis it appears in the fifth week the metanephric mesoderm provides the excretory units the ureteric bud gives rise to the collecting system so it appears in the fifth week and the metanephric mesoderm provides the excretory units abhi jo kidney mein hai wo there are the two separate systems are formed one is the excretion of the 
uh, waste products that is formed by the nephron portion. Another portion is the collecting portion. So collecting system is from the ureteric bud, while the excretory the units and they are from the metanephric mesoderm. And ureteric bud itself will de develop from the mesonephric duct close to the cloaca. Uh, the Wolfian duct is also called the Wolfian duct. Abhi, uh, next slide here, close up of the uh, metanephros. So we will wait for the few seconds to slide for the slide to appear. So now this is the close up view of the pelvis of the embryo. Okay, here the, uh, this is the lower portion of the pelvis. Uh, this is the mesonephric tissue which will degenerate. The mesonephric duct is there. This mesonephric duct is coming and will enter into the urinary bladder. So initially, this is the common chamber, cloaca. Cloaca is the common chamber, endodermal lined chamber, which is present at the lower part of the pelvis of the embryo. And from the outside, it is lined by the cloacal membrane. This cloacal membrane, when it will rupture into the seventh week, then the communication is established between the rectum and the uh, exterior. Uh, this portion is the uh, urorectal septum. So in the last gastrointestinal tract, division of the cloaca, the urorectal septum is taking part and this will divide the cloaca into the two portions. Posterior line is the uh, rectum, anterior line is the urinary bladder. So here if you will see this is the mesonephric duct which is coming down and this is entering into the cloaca. So this is the duct from the mesonephric system. Okay, the mesonephric system this duct which is going into the urinary bladder. From the lower end of this mesonephric duct, this Sir? ureteric bud will appear. Sir, yes. This ureteric bud is appearing from the lower portion of the mesonephric duct. And this is the permanent, this when this then the permanent kidney will develop from the metanephros. And then the ureteric bud will divide into the two portions. Okay, this is the pelvis of the kidney and this is the ureter. So this uh, ureteric bud is dividing into the two portions. So it will come and then it will divide further. So ureteric bud will further divide into the multiple segments. So by this, the major and the minor calyces of the uh, system will form. So the ureteric bud ureteric bud will divide into the two portions upper segment and the lower segment and then it will further divide into the multiple branches and these multiple branches will form the minor calyces and the major calyces so by these divisions about 12 divisions will go on and the successive divisions will merge together so the kidney ke jo apna collecting system hai, this is formed from the ureteric bud. So here is the ureteric pelvis, then the minor and the major calyces. So finally the ureteric bud, ureteric bud gives rise to the ureter, renal pelvis, major and the minor calyces and, and the uh, metanephric tissue cap and then we will see the metanephric tissue cap from which the neutrons will form. And the urine begins to form by the 10th week. So here is the excretory system which is formed from the metanephros. So if you will see here, this is the collecting tubule. This collecting tubule has originated from the mesonephric duct and mesonephric duct is nearer to the cloaca. And then this is the meta uh, collecting tubules to him when they are coming in contact with the metanephric and later on uh, this do metanephric tissue caps and they will form the nephrons. So initially they will form the renal vesicle 
and then the renal vesicle will progressively enlarge to form the nephron again here they are coming in contact with the collecting tubules so a nephron tubule distal tubule and the loop of the henle and the distal convoluted tubule which is joining with the collecting tubule so by the two systems the kidneys jo hain wo are formed in the pelvis and then in the from the pelvis the kidneys are ascending up to reach at the at the lesser lumbar side from the mesonephric duct the ureteric bud is emerging when it is coming in contact with the, the metanephric tissue then the kidney will form and uh, from the metanephric tissue the different nephrons are formed so the ascent of the kidney is the opening of this distal curvature so when this is the distal jo curvature hai when it is opening up and then the, it look like the Sir. ascending up so here the kidneys will ascend up and will lie in the lumbar region so here uh, the in the lumbar region pe and also due to the excessive uh, movement of the lumbar spine the kidneys will lie finally the uh, kidneys will lie at the lumbar region and the bladder so uh, the so finally the metanephric tissue will give rise the nephrons and the ureteric bud so in the there we will end this uh, lecture